Hey guys, Mike Wiseman with CIR Realty. Today we are doing a head-to-head -head battle of older neighborhoods in Red Deer, Alberta. The criteria for neighborhoods chosen for this video is homes built more or less before 1990 and neighborhoods that have consistent inventory value. We have broken it down into seven main categories which are then tallied up to give an overall score for each neighborhood. These categories are safety. This is based on the reddeer.ca crime map for the past 14 days outlining incidents in that neighborhood. Walk score. We pulled this information from walkscore.com and Google Maps. School accessibility. We are using public elementary schools as our target and any other schools that are in the vicinity will be added for bonus points. Highway accessibility. We felt this is important to include for people who take off on the weekends and for out-of-town workers. Neighborhood layout. This adds to the overall value of a neighborhood and reflects in an area's overall saleability. Upkeep of homes. What neighboring properties look like. Overall resale. We took into consideration the average sale price as well as the number of sales in an area to come up with our value. Let's start our side-by-side -side comparison in alphabetical order in a head-to-head -head competition to see which neighborhood stacks up as the best overall in town. Here we go. First up we have Anders vs Bauer. These are both south end neighborhoods with a lower than average amount of crime in the area. Both neighborhoods had two incidents in the past 14 days, all petty crime. Bauer wins by a landslide in the walk score, but falls short in the proximity to school category as Bauer does not have a school in the neighborhood. Again, Bauer comes up on top with respect to proximity to the highway, and the neighborhood layouts are comparable. Overall upkeep is close, but Anders sneaks a win there, and Anders blows Bauer out of the water for average sale prices, posting an average sale value more than $350,000, which was over $100,000 more than the average sale price in Bauer. This superior resale score gave Anders a narrow victory over Bauer. Next up is Clearview Meadows. Crime stats are higher than the city average here, the walk score is low, there are no schools in the area and it's fairly central in town, so not quick to the highway access. Neighborhood upkeep and layout is minimally inferior to Anders, but again resale is much lower, falling below $250,000 on average for 2022. Anders wins an easy one here. Next in the alphabetical Rolodex is Eastview. The safety score here was inferior with six incidents in the past 14 days. The walk score and proximity to schools in Eastview beats out Anders handily, but proximity to the highway and overall layout fall short. Average upkeep of homes is slightly behind Anders, and again the average sale value in the area is far below Anders, sitting at just above 250,000. Another win for Anders. Fairview is now in the game, a north end neighborhood with the best crime score so far. Zero incidents in the past 14 days. Walk score is neck and neck with Anders, however proximity to schools and the highway fall short, as do neighborhood layout and overall upkeep. Fairview posted an impressive average home value this year, just shy of 350000 but the overall score still falls short of Anders. The champ keeps the title. Glendale is up next and fell short pretty much across the board, except for proximity to schools. It posted the worst safety score with nine incidents in the past 14 days and an overall average sale value under $250,000. Well short of Anders numbers. Grandview came in swinging, posting similar stats in safety, proximity to schools and neighborhood layout. Its walk score was higher, but neighborhood upkeep inferior. The overall rating was a tie between these two, but Anders squeaks out the victory simply due to a slightly higher average sale value, not even $10,000 above Grandview's average. Highland Green was up next, another North End neighborhood that really didn't have much of a chance right from the start. It posted below Anders in all categories but proximity to schools. There were 8 incidents in the neighborhood in the past 14 days and an average sale value of just above $200,000. Our lowest total so far by a fair margin. Michener Hill stepped up next. There were two incidents of petty crime in the past 14 days. Its walk score was notably better than Anders, but proximity to schools and highway fell short. Overall neighborhood layout and upkeep also fell short, and with an average sale value slightly above $250,000, Michener also gets knocked off by the reigning champ Anders. 
Morris Rowe is next up on the list, posting superior safety numbers, a slightly superior walk score, a fantastic score for school proximity, although it did fall short on proximity to highway. Overall neighborhood upkeep was minimally behind Anders, and layout was comparable. Morris Rowe posted an average sale value right near that of Anders, but based on bonus points due to proximity to multiple schools in the area, Morris Rowe takes the win. Now would be a great time to remind you to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you want more info like this about Central Alberta, make sure to hit the bell to be notified of new episodes. Mount View is up next, neighboring Morris Row and posting the same safety score. Its walk score was slightly higher, while its proximity to schools fell just a touch short of Morris Row. Distance to the highway and neighborhood layout was the same, with overall upkeep of Mount View posting slightly higher. This one rolled in as a tie, but the overall sale value in Mount View, surprisingly enough, beat out Morris Roll this year, posting an average sale value just shy of $365,000. Mount View bumps off our new champ, Morris Row in extra innings. Next up is Normando, which came in pretty close in walkability to Mount View, but fell way short in the safety category, with five incidents in the past 14 days. Proximity to schools was comparable, although proximity to the highway scored a bit higher than Mount View. Neighborhood layout, upkeep, and resale value were all lacking in Normando in comparison to Mount View, and with an average resale near $250,000, Normando cannot overtake our new leader. Oriel Park saw seven incidents in the neighborhood in the past two weeks versus one incident in Mount View, and the walk score was also inferior. Both Oriel Park and Mount View have French immersion schools in the neighborhood, so that score was even. Oriel Park came on top in the proximity to highway, but fell short in layout and upkeep. At an average house price of $275,000, it just could not outcompete Mount View, who wins another one. Parkvale is one of our oldest neighborhoods in our downtown core, and it only had two crime incidents in 14 days. The walk score was comparable to Mount View, but fell short in proximity to highways, schools, overall layout, and upkeep. Average house price was fairly low this year, just under $250,000 easy win for Mount View. North End competitor Pines came in with almost all categories just slightly below Mount View and with an average house price for 2022 at almost 285,000, again Mount View moves on. Riverside Meadows overall scored second last behind Glendale but also saw the lowest average house price and was the only neighborhood under $200,000 for the year on average sales prices. Next up is Sunnybrook. With zero incidents in the past 14 days and crime rates 40% below the Red Deer average, things started well for this neighborhood. Although the walk score fell short, Sunnybrook matched Mount View for school proximity with one in the neighborhood. Proximity to the highway, neighborhood layout, and upkeep all scored higher than Mount View, and with an average sale value breaking the $400,000 mark, we have a new leader. Waskasu followed up Sunnybrook and also saw no incidents of crime in the past 14 days. Walk score was superior and this neighborhood is top three for walkability to schools with three right in the neighborhood. However, neighborhood upkeep, layout, and proximity to highway all fell short. Although Waskasu posted a solid average house value around $330,000, it wasn't enough to dethrone Sunnybrook. West Park stepped into the ring next, but started off already in the hole with four incidents in the safety scale in the past 14 days. Walkability scored higher than Sunnybrook and proximity to schools and highway was also superior. Neighborhood layout was even, but upkeep and layout fell short. Based on a lower safety score and overall sales values near $285,000, Sunnybrook sneaks out another victory. Last but not least, we have Woodley. Safety stats were worse than Sunnybrook with two incidents in the past 14 days, while walkability also scored lower. However, walkability was oddly low in comparison to Waskasu right next door, so we gave them a bit of credit here and put them a touch above Sunnybrook in that category. Proximity to schools was inferior as there are none in Woodley, and it's a pretty long way to access the highway from this downtown area. Overall layout and upkeep also fell short, and at an average sale value just above $320,000, Sunnybrook finishes it off to take today's crown. So for a quick recap of how all our neighborhoods scored from lowest to highest, we have Glendale, 23 points. 
Riverside Meadows, 24 points. Highland Green, 26 points. Clearview Meadows, 28 points. Michener Hill and Parkvale, 29 points. Woodley, 30 points. Normando, 32 points. Eastview, 33 points. Pines and Oriole Park, 35 points. Fairview, 36 points. Waska Sioux, 37 points. Bower, 39 points. Grandview and Anders, 40 points. Morris Row, 42 points. And our top three old neighborhoods rolled out as Mount View with an overall score of 42, West Park with a score of 44, and Sunnybrook at the top with an overall score of 48. Thanks for tuning in. What do you think about our head-to-head -head breakdown of neighborhoods? Was it fair? How did your neighborhood stack up? What else might you want to know about these areas or about Red Deer in general? Drop us a note in the comments and we will see you in our next video which will put newer neighborhoods head-to-head -head against one another in the same battle for neighborhood supremacy.